That's Aspen, the Seestadt, Vienna. It's a new district within the borders of Vienna and it's located just 20 minutes by tube from the city center. Vienna's Aspen Seestadt is one of the largest European urban development projects. Uh, we are here in the area of a former airport. Uh, altogether we have about uh, 240 hectares. That is approximately the equivalent of the first district of Vienna. Uh, we can see here on our urban model uh, the whole stage of the, the project area. We have here in the south the already built uh, Seestadt and in the middle of the project is um, its name giving lake. And here on the north side, on the first part of the north side where we develop um, the Seestadt is the Quartier am Seebogen. And this area is the first uh, time that we developed or planned the Sponge City for Trees. So that was in, in good cooperation with the landscape architecture um, office 3 zu 0. And so we here started with the first plannings of the Sponge City for Trees. And now we will take this concept also into the next part we will develop. So in the north and northwest part of the Aspen Seestadt. Welcome to Aspen die Seestadt Vienna. We're just right now here in that district where we created this first sponge city for trees area within Austria, where the trees were planted last autumn. So within the next five, six years, we do have really shadow here. What helps the people to live in the summertime with a kind of, of a, a coolness out of the the shadow of the trees and these trees are connected underneath with a system out of a local rainwater management system and where the trees do have enough space to root into for each square meter of a canopy we do need um, 0.75 cubic meter of underground for the trees and the combination between a local rainwater management system and this space underneath for the roots of the tree. That's what we call sponge city system for trees. As you can see here, there is this area of all these different kind of streets, 22,000 square meters, are these kind of dual lowered planting areas where we just bring into this water uh, which has to be cleaned up. We developed for this Aspen Seestadt a special system with this kind of lower planting beddings in a kind of dual system. So we deal with the kind of winter water because here in Austria, as well as in other parts of Central Europe, we do have the problem with this kind of winter maintenance where salt is quite important and this kind of summer water. And the big aim is to get as much water as possible into the underground to support our plants and especially the trees. I'm just now standing here in one of those lower planting areas where we have this dual system. And the system works um, as described. The water comes from the street itself, from the pavement and leads in this kind of first chamber where all the dirt is going to stay, like we know from any sewage system. And if we have enough water, then it leads into this first chamber of this kind of winter water chamber. And this winter water chamber is going to be planted with some halophytic plants. And then if the amount of water is larger, it leads directly into this kind of large filtering planting area where we do have different kind of herbaceous plants. As you can see now, this kind of um, bulbs, uh, these narcissus and tulips as well. And in short time, the water goes underneath into the kind of system where these trees have their roots. Natural based solutions as a part of our streets as a normal part of our streets for the future. This picture shows us where the direction of our development should go to. This green 
planting areas lowered for the local rainwater management and large trees. Yes, we focus into the direction of climate change, but we do have methods for this kind of climate change adaptation. And this bond system for trees is one very important. We do need vital trees and we do need a system that helps us with local rainwater management.